David Gross for the Bass Guitar Channel. Welcome to another week of Melodic Minor. Now today we're going to start on the E flat, third degree. And if you need a sort of a refresher course, go to my YouTube Bass Guitar Channel and you'll see all the previous videos, the ones on the C Melodic Minor, the D Dorian flat nine, uh, plus everything else before that. So right now, let's go back to the C Melodic Minor. C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B, C. Remember that the difference between the melodic minor and the major is this flat third versus the major third in the major mode. So today we start on the flat third and we have E flat, G, A, B, C, D, E flat. changes both intervallically and sonically. One, two, three, sharp four, sharp five, six, major seven, octave, two, which in this case is a nine, ten, sharp eleven, It's root three, sharp five, major seven, octave. Second inversion would be three, sharp five, major seven, root. Third inversion would be five, rather sharp five, major seven. third inversion, major seven, root, third, sharp five. Let's go to the piano. So let's take a good look at this. We have the E flat, which is your root, the three, which is your G, the sharp five, which is the B, and a major seventh. That's why this chord is usually called E flat major seven sharp five. Now, why don't we take a look at it starting at its root position? One, three. Let's see in the inversions. Well, the root position is what we just said. One, three, sharp five, major seven. First inversion would be three, sharp five, major seven, octave. Second inversion would be sharp five, major seven, octave. Third now becomes a 10, and then seven, octave, 10, Sharp 12. <laughs> Your major seventh, your 
major third. So if you just we could play it normally, right? It would sound. But that flat, uh, that sharp five. Another way to voice this would be. Now there's a great chord. Oh my gosh, I love it. One, sharp five, major seven, sharp four. So right here you've got, there's your major seventh. Add that sharp five. And then maybe add the sharp four, eliminate the third. Yeah, that's a cool chord. Another way to do it then, I just noticed this, that you can go root, sharp four, sharp five, or, yeah, that's cool, sharp four, sharp five, a major third, an octave above. Oh yeah, that's a good one. So you see, even I'm coming up with new chord uh, figurings. Cool stuff. In any event, that'll do it for today. There's a lot here. Uh, this is an interesting sounding chord. This is an interesting sounding mode. Why not, if you've got a keyboard at home, play it and then play around with it. You know, you can go one, three, one, sharp four, sharp five, one, two, one major seven, one octave. Ah, there's that sharp five below, which gives you, you know, a major tenth right there. day practice hard if you want to get deeper into this go to my website www.thebassguitarchannel.com i'm david gross tomorrow we're going to work on this on the six string bass have a great day take care mm -hmm.